do I fertilize my fruit trees and water them? What do, what do I do? So I put compost, good bit on this big tree, probably put a little over a yard of compost, a couple yards of wood chips, and you can see all the fruits. We got fruits. This thing's loaded down. Probably got a thousand fruits on it. Getting there, we're in early May. So you want your trees to grow good. You need to get that compost, get your soil living right. And then you want, you want to not water your trees? That's what you do. You put that compost, the wood chips, this a lemon tree. Here we got some junk growing, but that's okay. Some of that pennywort. Right, look down here, it's been a little while since it rained. And the soil is wet. No need to water. The compost down first, then your wood chips. I get my compost from a local stable. I get my wood chips for free from a tree trimming company. I get the compost for free. I just had to pay for trucking. Look over here, we got the Satsuma tree. Doesn't seem quite as loaded as last year. I mean, look, it's still got a good bit of fruit on it. Last year was insane on these. So I think it's taking a tiny break this year, but once we, once they start getting bigger size and yellowing and oranging, be able to see them a lot, a lot better. But look at all this. This is some vigor here. Got to get your compost and the wood chips. And then I don't water. I don't really water anything. I installed some irrigation on some of my fruit trees, and I have just turned them off because this, the compost and the wood chips really works. Put you a couple inch layer and put it out all the way to the edge of the canopy and then of the compost and then put your wood chips if you can get that another four inches thick and keep adding wood chips every year you can add some compost with that um that compost combined with the wood chips is going to balance out ph because they're both more so on the extreme side and together it bounces it out it helps the wood chips break down better the wood chips pull a little bit of nitrogen just from the very top section of the soil so that helps prevent weeds from popping up it doesn't prevent everything as you can see but it's a lot less weeds here's another little lemon tree right here we're back to that orange tree see it still has that penny worth stuff that just kind of takes over in in the wood chip areas here we got a fig tree same thing this is a brown turkey fig but have gotten no fruit out of this this has been about three years we planted some different varieties, LSU Purple, Celeste, uh, and those put out fruit like the first year. This brown turkey, it grows very well, but it just doesn't put out the fruit like the other ones do. Maybe it needs more time. Me personally, I would advise not to pick this variety. Also, right here on the compost, look at that lettuce growing. To zoom out to get the whole tree, these are just ginormous. These are two satsumas, and then go through the forest here. Back to this lemon tree. Look at that lemon tree. It's planted at the same time as this one, but this one has just done a lot better. I believe it is because of the sun. It a lot more sun over here. And this one over here is right under the shade, which can do, shade is good for evergreens. They can handle it a lot better than a deciduous tree, but just it's more vigorous with 
with more sun. I haven't gotten a lot of fruit out of the, those are improved Meyer lemons. And these sweet oranges didn't do so good last year, but the year before they did great, it seems. Maybe almost every other year. We haven't been doing the fertilizer for that many years. These trees have been here a long time. They were neglected before. The pe previous owners let the root stocks grow way out on these. You can see through the forest here. Look at that. I need to pick off. This root stock is growing out. Pick off all of these from the root stock. Ouchie, that has got thorns on it. This is a trifolate orange root stock. It's got these horrible thorns on it. The fruit is no good. But that is an epic tree there. Look at that, we're under the canopy.